works here. Here is what you should be practicing doing. Oh, wow, got an email. Here's what you should be practicing doing. Stat, setup editor. We do need to put in a list one and a list two. So second one, you know how to do this. And then the comma is right here above the seven. Second two, there is our list two. Cool. Stat, edit. All right, I have some statistics from some other time. Up to it, hit clear, go away. You know how to do this. Up clear and go away and I am going to enter the problems from number one and the numbers are 57, 61, 67, 72, 80, and 82. By the way, um, these numbers are from worksheet called Pre-Algebra Equations of Lines Best Fit. Um, which which you should have. And then I'm going over to list two and putting in 32.9, 34.6, 37.9, 39. You'll be doing this on Friday, 39, 43.2, and 43.7, make sure you hit enter afterwards. Now we're doing something really cool. Um, I'm gonna go to y equals for just a second. You could too to make sure I'm clear there. All right, back to stat. I'm going over to calculate. Something brand new, option four, linear regression. What this is gonna do, and I'll teach you, is find the best line that zips on through all those points. So I'm gonna go option number four, List one, list two, we don't need to worry about frequency list. Now, this is pretty cool. Store, you go right here to VARs. Press VARs, go to Y VARs. You're gonna have to practice this. Go to function, and then go to Y1 and hit enter. And now go to calculate. You, know, you might have to watch this video 10, 20, 30, 50 times. It's really good. Plus, it'll get me a lot of views. Calculate, boom, okay. That is the line y equals 0.434 blah 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 x plus 8.216. And if you would look at equations of best fit worksheet, number one, that is the line that they've got. Wow, that's cool. Now go to go to uh, and this r and r squared, we'll talk about what those mean. Um, and if you don't have them, ooh, I know what we'll do if we don't have them. Um, uh, go y equals, oh my goodness, it has put that line in here. Let's go to, um, let, let, let's go to zoom standard right now. And wow, there is the, li the line. Um, if we wanted to see a little more of it, I could go to window and make that y max a little higher. And now go to graph and we can see more of it. And the question might be, um, do, 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 do. where at 66, let's go to a table. Second table set. Oh, that was from yesterday. Start at zero, go by ones. And I want to do a table at 66. I guess I could have started at 66, but I'm having fun. And there it is at 36 point, um, right there, 36.885. Hey, back to stat, or, or stat, yeah, stat, calc, um, linear regression. Uh, if you don't have this R and R squared, what you do is go to, oh no, I know what to do. Catalog? Where's catalog? Second zero. You go to second zero. And then you go down and you turn diagnostics on. If you don't have those R and R squares, you would right there, you'd go to diagnostic on. And then you get the R and R squares. So I'm going to try to teach this in person, but some of you want to watch it again, I suppose, or some of you are absent or whatever. So that was our fun video for Thursday. All right. I have to stop this now. How do I stop it?